Hello everyone, we're here just to the north of London at Vicarage Road. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray at the microphone and sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's Watford and they face Sunderland. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Cayembe. Pedro Ken Sima now what can they do from here just the challenge that was required options in the middle Dangerous ball, very clear who got the last touch, so a corner coming up. Over it comes, priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. The supporters want to see him have a go, and there it is, the opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, as you can see, he beats the defender so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Well, a good tackle. He's enjoying space. And he might profit here. Well, what a piece of skill this is. It had everything. Agility, technique and power. It's a great goal. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Well, Watford have certainly tried to control the flow of the game, as those stats confirm, and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Yes, who knows? Maybe another opportunity in the works for them. And delivered into the box. And he'll take efforts like that all day long. Neil. Joe Gelhart. An awful lot of green space to run into. He's given it away. Promising attack, this. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Asom Balonga. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. Well, he might have been tempted to caution him, but didn't, Stuart. Yeah, and I like that from the referee. It's not a yellow card for me. It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Not messing around with that clearance. And there we have it. That closes the book on the first half here at Vicarage Road.
Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. And over the touchline for what will be a Sunderland throw-in. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw-in here. Diallo, clean challenge. Joe Gelhart. And stuffing out the danger. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Well, great read there to intercept. And room now out on the flank. He has time to play it over. Well, nothing wrong with the header, but it was always going that little bit off target. Showing a lot of guile there. Inside he goes. Could be. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area. And then just look at the way he opens up his body here. Times it perfectly, catches it so sweetly, it's a wonderful strike. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3 0. Right and strongly to win the ball. Please oh, he's left his marker for dead. Played into the box. Just straying offside. Just the challenge that was required. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Can he convert? Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Here it is now, a substitution. Corner kick played in. Well, no real accuracy and easy for the keeper. Ten minutes to go. Good work to regain possession. And players waiting at the far post. Safe pair of hands, did his job. An effective challenge. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance, and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. We are going to have two additional minutes. Oh, that's a really good run. Cross could be useful. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. So the corner played into the box. And the referee blows the whistle. That is the end of the contest. And plenty of reasons for Hornets fans to be cheerful on the back of this victory. You're absolutely right, Derek. They're attacking players.